you know, we had to make up for the lack of uh, content we did yesterday, but we, we made up for it today for a video right here. NFL Draft Spotlight, running back Nicholas Chubbs. Nick Chubbs from Georgia, senior, um, had an injury, you know, knee injury, and still played through it um, from what I read. Um, no ACL, but a lot of major ligaments, and he still started 11 games out of 16 games. I think it was, what, a sophomore season or something like that. Um, next year, you know, he had to, you know, kind of fail back in explosiveness and after the injury wasn't as explosive. And then the senior year, he kind of put it all together and it was a wise decision according to scouts to come back to school. You know, I see NFL.com compared him to Alfred Morris and I can see the comparison. Um, but I think he's more, a little bit more shifty and more explosive than Alfred Morris. And I, Alfred Morris he used to come through the hole like a, a silver bullet. And so does Nick Chubbs, but Nick Chubbs has more wiggle to his game. Not saying that he's the most elusive running back, but I mean running four five two and bench pressing twenty nine, two twenty five twenty nine times. He's strong. He's steady. Um, he's on, always on balance. He got good vision. He got good patience. He, he run with some power. He's nasty. He's not, you know, he's not, you know, he's not explosive. You know, he's not. He doesn't pop out in one category. You know, like oh man. Look at Barry Sanders, how elusive and the cuss that he does, or or look at um you know um you know Eric Dickerson, the power that he runs through in the long speed. You know he's like a really really balanced running back. You know very very balanced. Um, not showcased a lot in the running game. He caught a couple catches I seen on film. Uh, I wonder if that's something that he can do. I'm pretty sure teams are working him out, seeing if he catch the ball, or asking him about the passing game, asking him about pass protection. I, I think he can be good in, in that, but. You know, this dude is steady. Sonny Michel is more the, you know, electric, you know, flamboyant type of runner. He's more, you know, steady, slow and steady. He's not slow, but more, as you know, he's just silent. He's consistent. You know what he's going to get from you. Um, pad level good. And like I said, not a lot of wiggle, but he got more wiggle than Alfred Morris. And he got he's more explosive. And he understands, got good vision, how to hit the hole. He, he got patience, and he runs through arm tackles. He runs with power. And he got that top end speed. And this running back class this year, I have, I think, has the potential to be very, very special. Maybe Chubbs, Sonny Michelle, um, Royce Freeman. I think it's Royce Freeman. Um, maybe uh, you know Rashad Penny. Maybe Darius Geis. Maybe Saquon Barkley. Uh, I, I don't think it's a safe bet that Saquon Barkley may, you know, may just be the best running back out of his draft. I think it's a lot of underrated talent. Uh, I don't think it's the safest bet. I think it's a safe bet. I don't think it's the safest. Um, but you know, Nick Chubbs, you know, very much well could become out as a as top three running back in this draft. Um, and I think, you know, this time off and time a little bit more time from the injury once again, I think he may just be that more much explosive. You know, he was on, on track to be a Heisman candidate before the knee injury. He played through it. So he's tough. He's consistent. Um, I heard nothing but good things about his character. And I think that's something to be pointed out. The Lions and Martha Ford. And Bob Quinn and Patricia are probably looking for strong character guys, but he can play the game, man. He played in the FCC as well, um, and he's showing that he got the talent, man. And with the, if the Lions draft him, would I be mad? Fuck no. I love, I love Nick Chubbs. You know, I think he's gonna continue to get healthier as well. Um, you know, he's projected to go in the second round. A lot of these running backs are rising now. These guys you see in the third, fourth round are now rising to the second round. The third, second round is rising into the first round, the end of the first. So I think it's a push for the running backs, you know what I'm saying? But depending on how things fall with the pass rushers and the quarterbacks, the quarterbacks are really going to dictate the draft. Do I like any of the quarterbacks this draft? Absolutely not. Uh, I'm just a Lamar Jackson fan, but I don't like or I'm in love with any quarterbacks that he's going to be a franchise changer. I don't see a Carson Wentz. I don't see a, even a Jared Goff. I don't see that this year, you know. But you never know. You put some of these guys in the right system, you know, they could, um, you know, they could explode. I like uh, the kid from UCLA. I do think him. He's pretty good. He just, you know, got some, you know, some some challenges that Jim Moore is hating on him out there and saying that, you know, he might little, need a little help there and there. But I think the the the, the push of the quarterbacks in this draft is really going to dictate what the Lions can get in round one and going to round two, I believe. You know, so Nick Chubbs is a guy that um that I like. You know, I do like him. I think, uh, you know, I think. He's an explosive running back, you know, for his size and his speed. He's powerful. He's quick. He's fast. And we're going we're gonna to see what he does in the NFL. If he becomes a lion, we de I'm definitely going to 100% support him. And I believe he got a great, great future, in, you know, ahead of him if he can stay healthy and get with the right team. But y'all know what it is. Mercy Sports Talk. We out.